Hello, hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. In this series of videos, I've been showing you how to get started with WordPress on Bluehost hosting platform. In the previous video, I showed you how to move around your Bluehost dashboard for WordPress. From there, you can only manage things like your plugins, themes, and make some updates and stuff like that. I'm Chris Jules, and in this video, we're diving into the back end of our WordPress website. From there, we could create posts, pages, install plugins, themes, and pretty much everything that we're gonna do from here on forward with our WordPress website. First, we're gonna do things like get rid of the unwanted plugins and themes that come with some of our installs. When you install WordPress from things like, from places like Bluehost or Get GoDaddy, they often uh, upload themes and plugins that you might not need, and most likely in most cases don't need. So let's clean that up and then get started learning our WordPress settings. All right, everybody, here we are in our Bluehost dashboard on our My Sites tab. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here to Manage Site. And what I wanna show you is that back here we could see the plugins that we have installed. And as you'll see, there's a good list of plugins here. And we can't simply just turn these off. I mean, you can turn them off, but they're still installed on our WordPress website, okay? They're still gonna be required to be updated and they will be still, still be taking up space on our website. So what we want to do is go ahead and log into our WordPress website. You could also, if you were on the screen, just go directly into login. Okay, and as you see, it brings us to our WordPress dashboard. When you look over here to this, our side panel here, it's quite daunting. There's a lot of different options to choose from and settings for everything. And then if you look up here as well, there's even more up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up our WordPress installation and remove, clean up all the themes and plugins that we don't need and start fresh. So that way in a following video, I could show you exactly what themes you should install and what plugins you should install. Instead of trying to go over all these options first and what all these options are here, I want to take you to your plugins page for your website. So we'll click over here to plugins. We could either click on plugins or install plugins, okay? And you'll see here, there is just a list of our plugins that we have installed on, on this WordPress website and a bunch of other notifications. Okay? And you could see that we could clear a lot of these out. Now, whether you get your WordPress installed by Bluehost or GoDaddy, they're all going to install plugins that they want you to use and potentially pay for and they all, all are going to install themes that they want you to use and potentially pay for as well. Uh, it doesn't mean that these are bad plugins. It just means that these are the ones that they want to suggest to you and ones that they either own, manage, or are affiliated with. Let's just go over some of these uh, plugins and see why we don't need them and how to remove them. All right, so first off is this Akismet anti-spam. If you are blogging and receiving comments on your website. So for now, this website is not doing that. So I could either act, uh, it's deactivated now, or I could just delete it. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just delete it from my website. It's gone, okay? This Bluehost plugin is what allows us to manage this WordPress website on the Bluehost dashboard that we were just in, okay? So this is what allows it to communicate with the website. It tells the plugin uh, the data on the plugins, the themes, and the analytics, and all kinds of other things that you're gonna be doing from your Bluehost dashboard. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and leave this here. If, you, if you're coming over and you're checking out your, your plugins and you run into an update, update it. Now is the best time, okay? It's done, it's quick and easy. All right, Creative Mail by Constant Contact is just basically a email plugin that allows you to put up um, contact forms on a contact page. We don't need this. We are gonna use the Divi theme and that comes with a form builder. And also there are other form builders that I would recommend besides uh, Constant Contact. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and delete this one or deactivate it first. And then we could come over here and delete it. Google Analytics for WordPress by Monster Insights. It's basically just a plugin that reads your Google Analytics and presents it to you in different forms. That way you could see the traffic coming through your website. I don't use uh, 
Google Analytics by Monster Insights. We, I will show you how to set up Google Analytics on your WordPress website and how to view Google Analytics and get the best out of it. Okay, so for now, we're gonna deactivate this one and then we'll delete it as well. Hello Dolly is a silly plugin that's been in there since the beginning of WordPress and it's just to put something up on your website. It's really silly. We're gonna de delete this one. Jetpack is a very popular plugin that is used by a lot of people, a lot of bloggers and a lot of companies. But in my overall opinion, it's over bloated, it's large, and it has a lot of features in there that you probably would not use. So it's basically created by Automatic, which is the people that created WordPress. And it's basically a plugin of all kinds of different plugins. So we're not gonna use this, we're not gonna activate it, and we're just gonna delete it. Opt-in Monster is a plugin that creates a pop-up so that people could sign up to your email list and stuff like that. Uh, we, I do not use Opt-in Monster. We are not gonna activate it. We're just gonna go ahead and delete this. All right, and then finally, WP Forms Lite. We do not need a form builder on our website for now, so we will deactivate this and delete it. Already our plugins page is looking much, much cleaner. And this is what a fresh install in our plugins environment looks like. Let's head on over to our themes, which is under appearance and themes. And as you'll see, it comes installed with five themes. So already your website is being bogged down just a little bit by excess themes that you don't need. On WordPress though, you do need to have at least one theme installed and it needs to be activated, okay? So these other themes we do not need. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep 2020 activated on my website. And for now, what I'm gonna do to delete these is go ahead and click on it and then come down here to delete. And boom, it's gone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to these ones. And there we go, a nice clean themes page. Um, in future video, I'm gonna show you how to download the Divi website. And as well, I'm gonna show you how to make a child theme for your Divi website. And if you want to know more about Divi, what a child theme is, you can click on the link I'll post above. Let's go ahead and go back to our, our dashboard here. And you'll see already our front page is looking much, much cleaner. Our settings panel is looking much cleaner. Our top panel up here is looking much cleaner. And now we have a brand new fresh install of WordPress with nothing more added but this Bluehost plugin, okay, that, that allows us to do things like this, which for now we will go ahead and keep. Okay, and so when we come back to this Bluehost plugin, you'll see that there's a problem connecting. And if you see over in our plugins page, it is the only plugin that I kept activated. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is deactivate this plugin because we don't need it. I'm gonna show you in my videos how to manage your own website. And also I'm gonna show you in my video, future videos how to use the W, uh, the Manage WP website to manage your WordPress website, which is uh, a much better way to manage websites. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and delete this. And as you see, we officially have zero plugins installed. And when we go back to our dashboard, it's a vanilla plain WordPress install. If you come over here, if we come over here to our Bluehost dashboard, we'll see our site is still active. We haven't destroyed anything and everything's still there. And what, what else is it? It's also been updated with our plugins. You'll see we have no plugins installed. And if we go back to our overview, we'll see that we only have one theme installed. Okay, and there you go. We have a fresh, clean WordPress install to work with. And there you go. Now we have a fresh, clean install of WordPress. We've got rid of those plugins and themes that we don't need. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to move ar around your WordPress dashboard, go over all the tabs, all the settings, and show you everything that you need to know about your WordPress dashboard. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.